Greenland. Wow, this is cool. The cool of the cool. Guys. Sheets. Look at that view in front of us. Oh, check this out. Check out this view. Terrain ahead. Do you ever get stuck on the roads with the snow? Remember when I said I wanted to see a polar bear? Yeah, yeah. we're still at zero. I've always wanted to see the ice cap over Greenland. Kulisuk, that's the airport we're going to. Kulisuk is one of the airports that a lot of the around the world pilots land into, so I've never had the opportunity until now. We had the same problem yesterday on the same frequency, remember? Yeah. It was only his frequency that we couldn't really understand. Let's try Calm 2. Today it's a kind of mixed bag for me. There's a little bit of nerves, I'll be honest, because of the grandiose nature of the flight, but there's also a big deal of excitement because of what we're about to do. Polar bear count currently standing at zero. I want to change that by the end of the flight. I can't wait. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a fun day. Probably a good idea. They're starting up. Because we've got around two, two and a bit hours of flying over water today, we obviously need to put on our survival suits as well, because we are going to be flying across the North Atlantic. And uh, if we did have to ditch, obviously you want as much protection as you can get. You good? Sorry? Yeah, good. Of course I'm good. We're about to fly to Greenland. Full power. Off we go. 77. No runway. Flaps go away. Contra the Reykjavik approach. 109 at decimal zero. 109 at decimal zero. One, two, three, six, five. You're doing great. Thank you, mate. I'm loving it. It's so good. You encourage me to do stuff I'd never do otherwise. And we're going to freaking Greenland. Leaving the volcanoes behind. <laughs> yeah, swapping them for polar bears. <laughs> It actually looks really clear up ahead. I mean, there's no cloud. <laughs> Bit of IMC, and then a really smooth, fun flight. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. It's just, you're a good luck job. This guy's got quite hard to understand again. Yeah, it might We be. had the same problem yesterday on the same frequency, remember? Reykjavik Control, November 123, Victor Papa, maintaining flight, uh, maintaining flight level 120. November 123, Victor Papa, good day, I don't do it. 123, Victor Papa. What's up? Reykjavik United. Uh, if it does work. Nine, five, yeah, four. that was alright actually. <laughs> in fact, that was really, really clear. Was quite clear. It was like he was in the plane with him. <laughs> Give We're us some stats, Billy. What have we got? 50 miles in already. So it's about a 400 mile leg. We have 343 to go. And we're not bored yet. So that's a success. I like the way you say yet, yeah, because obviously at some point we will be. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> of the trip or each other? That's the question. Oh, of the trip, for sure. Absolutely, I agree. The risks have changed a lot, I think, in the North Atlantic flying probably over the last 60 years. Yeah. You know, where you hear these phenomenal stories of pilots doing all kinds of crazy things, you know, in this northern route and, you know, the World War II stories on how they navigated. Those are incredible feats of aviation. You know, and okay, we have a lot of technology here, but we don't have any onboard weather. I think it'd be hard to do this if you just had a PPL. You know, having the instrument rating is quite nice. Well, if you had a PPL, do it with someone, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe not do just it do it on your own. Yeah. You know, but doing this, what a great introduction to what IFR can give you as well. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have lunch in Greenland. In Kulasuk, Greenland. Iceland radar, November 123, Victor Papa trying you on 127.85. We were passed over SOAP in time 1103, and after that, Vaxxon 1219. Destination Kulisuk. And we'll be passing user 008 <laughs> at. <laughs> Traffic! Oh no. Traffic ahead. Range is uh, 142 miles in that direction. Should we take. Uh, yeah, evasive action. Evasive action. Is that land? No. What's that then? Iceberg? No, it's cloud. Is that just low cloud? Or is that is that sea shelf? No, it's low cloud, man. Uh, yeah, we have a frequency for Edmonton there, 135 decimal. That could be the sea ice. Could be sea ice. Yep. In which case, actually that makes sense. Yeah, that's sea, that could be sea ice. Yeah, in fact, it's breaking off there. So we might see some polar bears. Remember, one, two, three, Victor Papa, we are crossing 65 degrees north, 30 degrees west. Uh, after Vaxan, Kulasuk, estimate one, two, three, seven. Belich just pointed something pretty awesome out. You spotted that before me. That's Greenland. 
That's Greenland. Look information, uh, good morning. Oscar Echo Uniform, Delta Mike. I know that pilot. I just, can I make a radio push. calls? I'm just going to see if... Yeah, what, are we, what are we doing? I want to talk to Oscar Echo Uniform, Delta Mike. Oscar Echo Uniform, Delta Mike. This is November 123, Vic, Victor Papa. Are you on frequency? Hey, how are you? Yeah, good mate. I just want to say, my name's Steph. Um, I watched some of the videos that you and Mika produced about the Diamond aircraft. Hey Steve, how are you doing? Yeah, very good. I was watching some of the stuff uh, with you guys spurring the diamonds across. Just wanted to say hello and um, have a good flight. Yeah, great. Thank you for watching that stuff. Uh, that's good. So you're, where, are you, where are you heading to? Just come out of Reykjavik and we're doing a bit of a scenic over Greenland and then we're going into Kulusuk and then back home to Reykjavik tonight. Just uh, some private flying. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, Kulusuk is beautiful today. Sky clear and very nice. So you will have a great scenic flight. Awesome. Thanks very much. Yeah, keep making the videos. I enjoy watching them and uh, safe travels on with mate. Tell them to watch you too. Yeah, you too. Thank you very much. Come on, Jeff. Good time. Good time. Safe flight and happy landing. Cheers, mate. See ya. See ya. Ah, come on. No. You're so bad at your own PR. Get over it. I really can't. Look at that view behind us. The snow oh, wow, being yeah. so dramatic on the mountain. Oh, look at these peaks. Look at these peaks that we're going over. No wonder people heavy ski out here. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, it's untouched. So left base for one one. That, yeah, why all of a sudden did I have a real mental, mental <laughs> issue trying to work that out? Because you're struck <laughs> in awe by the majesty of Greenland. Seriously, I am. Welcome to Kulusu. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. November 123, Victor Papa, backtracking on the runway. I can't stop smiling. I just cannot physically stop smiling. I've seen this place in other people's YouTube videos. I've watched people flying in here so enviously in the past, and now today, finally, I'm actually here. It's surreal in a way, but it's also it's incredibly emotional, I'll be honest with you, to actually be here now, finally, myself. Just trying to take it all in. Do you ever get stuck on the roads with the snow? Does it ever get too yeah. heavy? it just got stuck here uh, on Sunday. On Sunday? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, Sunday, yeah. Thank you. So the guys from the hotel, the local hotel here in Kulasuk, have got a mode of transport to take the heli skiers to and from the airport, and they very kindly offered to give us a lift into the local town. So this is the local town in Greenland. This is the town of Kulasuk. We tried to drone, but it didn't work because there's, we're too far north for satellites. <laughs> it's not, it's nice. we're too close to the airport. There's it's because we're too close to the airport. the airport. Turns out that it's frowned upon flying a drone towards the airport. Remember when I said I wanted to see a polar bear? Yeah. We're still at zero. We're still at zero, but um, look, in all seriousness now, if you are a little bit squeamish, um, or if you don't want to see dead animals, maybe look away for the next 10 seconds. Otherwise, it's kind of an important part of life down here in Greenland. Definitely. But if you want to see a polar bear. Apparently this is one that entered the village just two days ago. And they have a quota. So they have six that they're allowed to hunt. And then if there's any more that come into the village after that, they, they can't shoot them. Polar bears? One. One polar bear, does one that count? count? It absolutely counts.
Axe? <laughs> Good shopping haul, Philippe. We found something that we think is suitably local. It looks Danish. It looks Danish. <laughs> Power's coming up. Uh, full power. 70 knots. 8 knots. No uh, runway, flaps away. Iceberg. Iceberg dead ahead. Let's do it. Let's stop our climb. Let's get close to the iceberg. Terrain no, ahead. Pull up. 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 Oh, check this out, check out this view. Terrain oh my god, there are departures and there are departures, but this is crazy. Don't sink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this boss is really angry. <laughs> How is this even possible? I don't know. The world is so amazing. Yeah, well said. One last shot of the icebergs. Oh, don't make it the last one. Captain. Wow, look at that delicious bagel. <laughs> November 1, 2, 3, Victor Papa passing 7,000. November Victor Papa, Kulusup, uh, right your next call to Nuke Information, 120, decimal 3, so long, have a nice flight home. 120, decimal 3, we'll go over to Nuke, and thanks very much again for your help. Have a great afternoon. November 1, 2, 3, Victor Papa, bye bye. So long. See, that could be a really nice end to the video, but we'll do, now when I look back at the footage, let me see what you're doing in the background. This is where maybe I overlay a map on top of you. <laughs> We've actually decided to file for a higher altitude, which means we'll be on oxygen for a large part of the flight. Thank you, mate. Mate, awesome fun.